Hi everyone and welcome to my review of A United Kingdom. This is a brand new movie based on a true story of a very unique love story, a very important love story. Now, I wanted to see this film. I never thought I had the, was going to have the chance to see the film. I was talking with my aunts on my dad's side, and we were talking about going to try and see the movie. My mom wanted to go, so I went with my mom and my two aunts, of many aunts, on my dad's side, and we went to see this film. Now, what is this movie about? Who stars in it? Who directs in it? Well, the film, as I said before, is based on a true story, and the stars of the movie are David Oyelowo and Rosamund Pike, Rosamund Pike. The film also stars Tom Felton, Jack Davenport, and Laura McCarmichael. Mar Laura Carmichael from Down Abbey. It's just great to see her in a movie. And then there's also a lot of other talented. It's a big cast, big cast, but those are the main stars of the movie. Now, what is the movie about and who made it? The movie is about a young black man who in 1974 was living in London. He was going to school. And he falls in love with a white woman, and they get married. And this black man is very important in his South African country. He is a man who will one day be king. So there's this big controversy going on, especially at that time. It's the late 1940s in England. There's apartheid. The British have rule over the South, uh, Southern Africa. And there's this really interesting love story that's happening between, very taboo at the time, between a black man and a white woman. And, and, and it doesn't help that this black man will one day be king. So there's all this major conflict going on in this movie. But right there, under the surface, is this incredible love between these two human beings that defy everything. Uh, that's what I felt was most important about this film. You know, all this other stuff that was happening these, these, this, the, with the race relationships that were going on at the time and the prejudice that were going on on both sides of the fence. You know, you have the people in England that are upset that this white woman and this black man are hooking up together. And then in Africa, they are scared and prejudiced as well because this man that they love and hopefully one day will be king is with this white woman. So prejudice on all sides, everybody's kind of scared and, and, and worried about the situation, but it's so fascinating, uh, according to this film, that that doesn't bother them too much, in the sense that they truly do love each other, and this is their journey, this is their story, and all that strife that comes between them and, and becomes between their two countries and all this, all this other stuff that happens in the film. That was quite moving. I mean, exceptionally moving, not only is this a human story, and you, you, you can, you, you that Roseman Pike and David O. Yellow has perfect chemistry together. Um, I did feel it was a little rushed in the beginning of the film with their love story. Some of the problems I had with the film, but as they go along and they're getting closer together and they're getting married and they go on to it's based on a true story, so I don't feel like I'm really spoiling anything in the sense that this is the basis of the story so if you want to know more details of what happened between of course you know you can all just read a book go to a history book or go online and probably google the whole thing but you know i didn't know exactly about this story we've, we've seen stories like this before in the past with movies and you know there's a movie last year called loving that dealt with an interracial couple um so nothing new here of course and 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 so uh, but there are some stuff that I, I, I don't want to spoil, unless you want to go on the internet and find out yourself, but I'm not going to try and spoil the rule of what comes after, you know, the, the fact that they fell in love and they got married, and, and that's what I really loved about this movie, was this really amazing love story, and I felt Roseman Pike and David Oyelowo, maybe the film's not an Oscar-worthy film, maybe it's, you know, I, I think it's a great film, maybe someone might say it's Oscar bait, but I really feel the only thing that really deserves Oscar consideration or award consideration of any kind is the two honest and earnest performances by David and Rosemary, Rosemary, Rosemud. She just—I I just broke down a few times, especially with some of the speeches they give and the dialogue they give and what happens to them in this story as they're going through uh, uh, the strife between their two countries and trying to bring people closer together and of course 
I think the story itself is much bigger than this movie and can't fill an, uh, about two hours in the film entirely. So the film's not perfect. Uh, I do feel like there's some stuff that were, was missing in the movie, but overall, it's a very moving story and I and and a, and, a, and a very beautifully shot film and the acting all around is great and I can and and it's it, it, it's just a great story overall. And I contribute that to the great direction from this great uh, a, a director by the name of I believe her name is Emma or Ama Asante and in 2014 I saw a film uh, that she made called Bell, starring Gugu Mbatha Ra, another film that deals w at another time, like way, way more in the past, that deals with uh, race relationships. And I thought she did a great job to handle this story in under two hours and make it interesting all the way through, even though I felt like maybe something was missing here or there, or it felt a little rushed in the beginning, and it did feel a little rushed at the end, but I can't help be moved overall. Uh, by this really touching, amazing film that is, uh, in its core, a really great love story. And I really enjoyed this film. I thought this was a great film. Maybe not one of the best, but a great film with some solid performances and some really great filming sur filmmaking surrounding that. I really feel that they went on location in some of these areas. And I think this is an exceptional, amazing true story that I would love to, now that I've seen the film, I would love to see a documentary about this story, and I would also love to read more about this amazing couple, and what they've went through, and, you know, maybe explain what happened after the movie ends, and their real life begins, and what they do, and all that stuff, uh, you know, no relationship is perfect, so they they probably went through some drama throughout their lives, and dealt with other certain things that involve both their countries, I would like to learn about that. I don't need a sequel to this movie by any means, but their lives were interesting, their relationship was astonishing, and what they've done for the world, I think, is very admirable and very, very beautiful. And for that, I am going to give a United Kingdom, I will give it a solid three and a half stars out of four. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and share this video. And also, please check out these amazing movie websites. And if you enjoyed this review, please click here to subscribe to my channel, and also please check out all my recent reviews right here on YouTube. Have a great day, live film, find peace, happiness, and harmony in anything and everything you do, and I'll talk to you at my next movie review.